we back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Seven uh, months later? Yeah. Uh, it, it actually, we were doing the math. I think it's closer to nine months. Uh, Fuck. Uh, but you know what? It's 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 a one person's fault. And he this, did it. Who's, yeah. Who did that? Yeah. Mr. Unstable in connection. Immediately. Uh, podcast starts. Jake, Wi-Fi, dipped out. That Personally, is, I thought... Definitely not we, me. Might have been talking about George Santos, but uh, no, I haven't heard George Santos news recently. What's going on with? I stay up to date on my George Santos news. Well, what's going on? I, I don't know. I'm not. Oh, okay. There's nothing. Well, that's okay. There's no George Santos news. Um, I feel like that I have heard something about them trying to, like, even Republicans being like, or maybe not actually Republicans. Never mind. I don't know. I'm just. I'm. I, I know Romney like did something to him, but that, again, that was probably fuck. like nine months ago. Um. Yeah, we we've been in a. Oh, we got a dog on the show now. Um, yeah, dude, scared the shit out of me. Uh. Yeah, we've been in a time capsule for nine months, so we we came out fresh and clean and uh and ready ready to see what's going on in the world. Um. So what's this? Fully shaved, slick down, ready for the the slime bath. In yeah. uh, the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all hair here. I actually grew it in the past, uh, past like 15 minutes um, since I've been alive. It's kind of like a Play Doh thing. You just put hair in your mouth and it comes out. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was that was a horrible image. Yeah. Uh, That's what you did. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go. We can start with. Uh, there was. Here we go. This will date. We. Yep. Oppenheimer versus. Okay, well. Hot would... take. Okay, well. Hot that... take. Go. Who Go. wins? Barbie, uh, like Barbie. Oppenheimer. The nuke versus yeah. Barbie. Who wins? Yeah. Who walks uh, away? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Barbie because she can split up into microplastics and live on forever. True. Whereas the nuclear fission or fusion or whatever the fuck it is dissipates. It'll end. You just. <laughs> but actually that radioactivity will be around for way longer so um but yeah we could start off with barbenheimer or bar whatever uh oppen barbie um uh did you see it mike did you see both of them i, 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 mean, I did not see barbie i, I whoa yeah, then, I'm, well then how are we supposed toxic to toxic like, masculinity right uh, here okay damn yeah well, you know, I, 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 I don't know if that, that movie was necessarily for me. And so I was just like... I'm, Michael, I'm, it you. is for you. I, I, I will say it's for everybody, legitimately. If it's for anybody... It, I will say it's for everybody. People have been touting that as feminist film, which it is. It is like a very, very heavy feminist message. But like, it who's in it? Yeah. So, no, I said I'm sure it, I'm see, sure it is. See, Michael, like, you know, okay. I don't know why people are so upset about it being a feminist let me, film. Let me, women have some, like, can women have some films, you know? Let them have them. Let them have a film, you know. Let them have, let them a, have a film. A They've had films before. This is not the first. Like, no, that's that's the whole point. Okay, but also it is. I don't know. It's uh, whatever, whatever. I just want to real quick before we get into this conversation. I want to preface with Michael calls me twenty minutes before this, and goes, "Yeah, so." What are you doing? I go, "I'm getting ready for the podcast." What are you doing? <laughs> and he goes, "I'm on my way home." Um. Small problem. I don't have a mic. Um, and I was thinking about this earlier. Okay. I, We've been through three years of a pandemic that forced us to go online and have to do communication virtually. How the fuck do you not have a microphone, Michael? Like, that is astounding. I, may, I mean, your name is literally Mike. It legit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And it's very funny because, Michael, I just bring this up because you're talking right now. We can talk over you because you're on your speakerphone, which automatically cancels out your audio when people talk over you. So Seriously? you'll be talking. Yes, because you – okay, Ben, let's talk at the same time right now. Da who, okay, Doris, I, da who. I, can I can hear both of our audio. If Michael tried talking, cancels it. Yeah, uh, it just cuts me out. It thinks that you're – like it thinks it's it's getting – it doesn't want to do feedback. Like it doesn't want to start playing. I know why, Michael. I know fucking why it works. Well, you know, 
Who needs mics? I've got one built into my phone. Why do I gotta? Why do I gotta? Uh, like pay more money for a nice mic? Who said nice, Michael? Well, it costs ten dollars to get a listen, listen. decent headset that would have probably the same where, quality as me and Ben right now. Where is getting me a decent headset or a, a, even a good headset? Because we're better is, buying. So be fresh. Fun. I'm, look, I'm canceling. Look, we're talking over him. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Work, work, yeah, I can't even say shit, shit bitch. Over me, but you can't silence me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which also then after that, I was like, that's fine. Just talk on speakerphone. Then he goes, okay, well, I'm also going to be cooking dinner. So and I'm like, okay, so you're not fucking, and we can't even hear you. We can't even hear you, and you're fucking cooking dinner. Ate food while you were on doing your solo cast that isn't even going to be part of the podcast. Hey, that's says just like fucking in the you. Podcast. Says fucking you. Okay. Uh, there was a big announcement in that that, that is going to come come up at the very end uh no yes. uh but uh anyways just want to bring that up and look at that John? look at that the fourth guest <laughs> back from his professional uh game i just got done playing against uh fucking zantares who's zantares not zantares <laughs> one of the best players in the world uh, I, I can fucking beat him give me give me your mouse and, and uh Shocker, I lost. <laughs> Big time. And I wasn't doing anything to help my team. <laughs> Big <laughs> loser, man. I, I was you, just like, guys, like, you, I, I, there's you nothing I can do. Oh, I was by far bottom pregnant. Yeah, it was bad. I felt really bad. I was like, but guys, like, I, I was like, I don't know how I got in this lobby, John, they're guys. literally <laughs> professionals. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... My teammates weren't, and they were pretty good. It was literally just, it was, like, the dude had, like, 50 kills. Oh. It, well. If for context listeners, John is a BS player. Um, actually, really good. If he got if he got fucked on, that means that, that that's big talk right there. That's big talk. Well, I'm sure, I mean, he, he did say the name of who it was, so I'm sure you can look up that person and, and see that they're actually... Like, you should link that guy's YouTube channel. He definitely uh, has one, or his Twitch in the... Yeah, you should link him. In Call the him description out. Yeah. of this video on YouTube, like, you should link... My no, oh, yeah. We should make an Instagram post, or we should make an Instagram account for this and start, like... We already tagging. have one. We Tagging already people. have one, oh. and no one even knew. Okay. <laughs> Actually, put, I there was, there I was one I clip posted. <laughs> there was a single clip that I went, that's a lot of fucking effort to do that. I'm not doing that again. Um, <laughs> I think we should start... I don't know how we get the following to make beef, but... <laughs> start making fake beef. Yeah, oh, no, it'll be like, real beef. Just start be real beef. posting random shit like fucking Zantaris ran over my dog after I beat him the game. <laughs> hey, yes, honestly, so. that would get crazy views, especially if we did That's like a soy face. I was thinking about that. I was like, yeah, we'll we're gonna. It's start... like all of us pointing to a fucking dead dog in the middle of the street. Um, this is so dark. <laughs> we're gonna change the thumbnails. We're all gonna do soy face. Yeah, exactly. We're all gonna do soy face, and it, uh, yeah, we'll do like a we white need outline. Red circles. Around us. Yeah, red circle, dead dog body. Uh, <laughs> and Tar is yeah. driving away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll be like a cursed Mr. Beast uh, thumbnail. But it'll be us. Um, I have thought about that recently, and I've seen a lot of people start to be like, well, fuck, if you can't beat him, join him. And they just started kind of doing the Mr. Beast thumbnails. And I'm like, that's kind of sad. It makes me a little sad. Because I feel like like thumbnails have are just like trash now because of that. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them are pretty fucking bad. A good number. Yeah, a good number. Um, but, John, you seen uh, Oppenheimer or Barbie? No. Neither one? No. Nah. That's okay. There's there's yeah, there's yeah people who are, are smarter than us who are contributing better things to that that conversation, you know? Uh, what's, I don't know why what, we want to. <laughs> what else is there to say about it? Oh no, I got, I that's got, what, fr no, I got fresh takes. No, I got fresh takes on it. I got fresh takes. I mean, all I know, Oscar said I was like, yeah. Uh -oh. Jake said uh, Oppenheimer was like one of Christopher Nolan's best. Recent Oscar came back, he was like, 
I don't know if it was because of me overhyping it, but he came back and he was like, that movie wasn't that good. And I was like, yeah, it's because oh, half well, of it was a courtroom like scene. Yeah, half of it was a fucking courtroom scene. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't fucking Inception for sure. Um, but it's also I don't Oscar expect everyone to. Adrenaline. That I have heard that from many people where they like people went to fucking to see it and they were like a bunch of like not to call Oscar a, a college bro, but like they were like yeah some some like Inception bros went to see it and they were definitely disappointed. <laughs> and it's like yeah, it's not fucking like Inception. It's not like Tenet, but the thing is, he gave us Tenet, and I didn't even like Tenet that much. I thought it was the action was cool, but the fucking conversations, I was like, I, I don't really care that much. Um, <laughs> the conversations in that movie were like, were like Michael trying to talk while we're talking over him. Uh, oh, in Tenet or in Oscar? yeah, oh yeah, uh, just like you couldn't hear him, like just all the other sounds canceled out the dialogue. Yeah, know? which even I would say Oppenheimer almost had a little bit of that, but it was it was better uh, mixed, I think, still. Um, but yeah, no, I mean Oppenheimer, I'd still highly recommend it. Anyway, I would recommend both movies. I I really think like those uh, like Ho Hollywood's back, baby. But honestly, I think it's almost like the dying breath of Hollywood, where it's like yeah. <laughs> Jake, speaking of movie recommendations, let me make you a good a good movie recommendation that I think you'll probably hate, oh. given the fact that you didn't the like box trolls. Infinity. <laughs> no, not the box trolls. Given that you didn't like Infinity Pool, but the movie that I was trying to tell you about last night at Meriwether, uh, High Life, with Robert Pattinson. Oh yeah. Very cool. Very good. It's like 2001 Space Odyssey meets Moon um, oh, okay. with Sam Rockwell. But basically Christian ba or Christian Bale. What the fuck is that guy's name? Robert Pattinson has, uh, was given the option to either be executed or serve a life sentence on a spaceship oh. that has been sent to use to figure out if they can use the energy from a black hole. Oh. as renewable energy and uh also get his cummies collected oh okay well so a boy and his dog um uh <laughs> no uh get it's, i love that scene i still think about that all the time not all the time but uh, it is kind of like that in that nature mm. okay but... well I'll, I'll definitely watch it because that sounds more i and i didn't not like infinity pool i just went I don't think that was for me, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. Um, right. Uh, but it's yeah. Also got me a goth. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one does. The mm -hmm. Robert Pattinson one. Oh, okay, shit. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a watch. Uh, she's like the she's like second or third main character, and Andre three thousand. Oh shit! Well, no, yeah. you're a big outcast head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm outcast and outback head. So, um, uh, yeah. I mean, I will definitely watch that. Uh, Shit, yeah, especially like space shit. That sounds kind of like Twilight Zone esque, so I, I definitely will give that a watch. Um, well, yeah, fuck Barbenheimer. I mean, other than go see it, I mean, I feel like that's what everyone has kind of said. That's like, yeah, it's good. Um, uh, yeah, not much more to say. Now, there's a lot to say about this one. Uh, this is on my list. I made a list, by the way. Uh, this is breaking news. Not really, but kind of. Trump indicted. For the fourth time, <laughs> uh, how how my guess is now how many times will he be indicted? Uh, I I'm gonna say ten, honestly. I I think I'm highballing, but ten? Yeah, ten times. <clears throat> but he did everything right. He did he he did, and they still indicted him, and they're still indicting him. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. So, like, how could there be ten if he he did everything right? Yes, but they're gonna exactly. He keeps doing it right, and they're still going to indict him. That's that is the cause and effect in my book. Um, Us fellow, my fellow truthers and I, we all know that he's never actually been indicted. No, he's not. It's all a it's it's all a a scam for YouTube views. Using Trump, the comedian he is, it's a centerpiece. All right. Well, I walk away for five minutes, and this this is just really I fucking, derailed. I fucking knew. Well, yeah. I wonder why. Maybe it's because you fucking walked away for five minutes. Well, I had some business to attend to. You okay. Know. Okay. 
Jesus um, Christ. Okay. I'm just sitting here watching Saki eat grass right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. This was funny. I was walking Saka earlier, and uh, some of my neighbors were out, and their dogs were out, and I was like, oh, the, you know, I'll just let them sniff each other. Their dogs weren't on their leashes, so they just come running up to Saka. I'm, like, kind of pulling them, standing there, and I'm like, my dog's really good with other animals. Like, are your dogs okay? They're like, yeah, so so they, they you know, they're, they're getting to know each other. I'm walking up to them. I'm like, hey, like, I live down there. One of them is like, I got to go, and I'm like, oh, nice meeting you. This <laughs> the woman, though, her name was uh, Christina. She come, She's like... Oh, so so you live over there, and I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, I'm not gonna tell anyone else this. Like, I won't say it, this to any of the other neighbors. But uh, my brother, or not my, my son, uh, told me he he thought your house was the trap house, and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I was, and she you? she was like, she was like, look, like I'm from Colorado, so like I don't care. And I was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, like. And I was like, when did you move here? She was like, 2019. And I was like, yeah, like, that hasn't happened for a while. But, like, you know, I was pretty open about it because, I mean, she literally was yeah, like, she was like, I'm about to go inside and smoke some myself. She <laughs> wow. That <laughs> is like, pretty oh. fucking funny. Yeah. And Which then, house does she live at? She lives in the house that, um, mm, well, okay. what Maybe. was her name? Well, that's... No, no, you no. Guys this know won't be. She was on the. She was on the cross country. Yes, team no, or... I know exactly. No, let's not say names, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I know exactly. Uh, okay, who you're yeah, talking yeah, sorry. I, yeah, you guys read. I, I honestly can't remember her name anyway. So, but yeah, yeah so I know she exactly. Was in that yeah. house. Yeah, at that cat yeah. towards the end of the cul-de-sac or whatever. Um, or the mm -hmm. loop, like whatever. Um, okay. So I didn't even know. Yeah, they must have moved out then too. Come on, um, son. Yeah. I was literally like, oh, like I knew the people that used to live there. She was like, yeah, we moved in 2019. Okay. Yeah. And then, wow. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah. And then uh, she said, my uh, youngest uh, son recently mentioned something about it too, and I was like, I don't know where he's getting that from. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. I was like, not nothing. I was like, I'm the only one here, like most of the time. If not, it's just me and Oscar. Like, right. <laughs> Are you young? Yeah. So I don't know. And then she was like, she's probably just saying it because like my. Or his brother said something. Like that. Right. Yeah, I just yeah. thought it was hilarious. And then she literally was like, "If you ever need anything, just let me know." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> she literally said, "I just came back from Colorado and got some good stuff." Wow. <laughs> wow. It was pretty funny. That's kind of cool. That's fucking. It fills some of my faith in humanity, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. I, just literally, I was walking away. I was like. Because literally the entire time Sokka was playing with her dog, I was like, oh, Sokka, you're such a good boy. And then I was like, damn, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good yeah. interaction. Yeah. To, I was like, not only was it funny, but also like it did make me feel a little bit bad because I was like, man, like that means some other people probably thought that too. Well, <laughs> it was the trap house. To be fair, it was the trap yeah. house at a certain point. But yeah, if they moved in in 2019, what? it's like, well, not, not really. I don't like, know maybe if for really that much. Yeah, that was in 2019. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it was really only, like, high school and a little bit afterwards, like, especially in the summer. Uh, yeah, no. The summers definitely kind of would pop off, though. Yeah, uh, 2018. 2019 sounds a little late. Because it was 2018 summer, because it was sophomore year was when we got into the apartment. So, yeah, that right, had yeah. to have been. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they're coming from with any of this information, actually. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, that's really... <laughs> uh, yeah, where the fuck did they hear that from? Eh, or see that? I don't know. But still, you know, I don't know. Maybe they see us doing cor playing cornhole every now and then. They're like, ah, trap house. That's it. Uh... They didn't even see real trap house days. Or, I mean, like, maybe they just smelled the weed. You know? What are you talking about? We're talking about tobacco, Mike. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, I mean, but maybe it's because, like, every now and then there'll be a lot of people over here. Uh, Yeah, that's probably it. Probably they just see all the cars, yeah. Any other place. Like, imagine, like, more than four cars in house in the neighborhood. Yeah, I, now I'm questioning what their definition of trap house was. Like I mean, if it was just the place where everyone went to go, like you know, smoke cigar, uh, cigarettes and cigars, or if it was yeah, like the cigar <laughs> club, yeah, where yeah. people went to go purchase cigars and leave. Mm -hmm. More mm. loose leaf tobacco. Yeah. 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 We. we I mean, we had own. everything. 
yeah, yeah well it's it's a whole like kind of like mini shop you know um kind of keep it on the radar but yeah um yeah but we we can't talk about it too much because the irs might come in and that is true yeah they might might start taxing yeah. tobacco um uh the... speaking of uh irs uh and just government related stuff uh i owe Rand paul a favor and i'm not happy about mm. it. um so we're going is to Mexico. Sec- we're going to mexico right right mike yeah, we are going to Mexico. My passport. Excited. You know how, Very I, excited. how I kind of fucking forgot I needed to get my passport until like, oh. you know, like three months before. I haven't asked about an update about that. Well, here's the update. Did you, uh, uh, so did it like early July. Um, it finally went to processing like oh, only like a month ago. And I was like, oh, fuck, like. I don't know if that's going to be enough time. Because I paid for expedition. You can pay like 60 bucks for it to go from like 10 to 12 weeks to wait to like 7 to 9 weeks. So I was like, okay, well, I'll hope for the best. But uh, then, you know, it was getting close. We're less than a month away. Uh, And I was like, fuck. Well, I know there's one thing I can do. And this is a little, little trick for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, you can write to your congressman, and by write I mean they ha- usually have a form you can fill out online, uh, and write to their office and be like, hey, I need help with whatever department. Um, so in this case, it was Department of State or something like that. Um, so I wrote, I was like, hey, I'm going to Mexico in about a month, and I just want to get my passport in time. Fucking, uh, not even a week later, they're like, yeah, we emailed them, and they said it's uh, printing right now, so you should have it in the next few days. Here's a shipping number from UPS. So... It's on its way. Pretty and, sweet. And I was like, That's God awesome. damn. Fuck. Yeah, you owe them. You owe they them. They tell me. You better pay some taxes. They got Bashir's my office went out there. Oh, it wasn't Bashir. That, you see. It wasn't Bashir. It was Rand Paul. Oh. I oh, owe Rand, Rand Paul, Paul oh, a favor. And that's why I'm <laughs> pissed. Because I go, I'm not voting What's for What's the real story, <laughs> uh, How did you really get your passport? Oh, well he, well, he just called me up and uh, did I not say that? That I sucked his, di- sucked his cock? Oh. <laughs> Uh, they called you up, and then I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, I missed that part. Yeah, no, I. Uh, I knew that didn't come free. I, mean, I had to like, go. So... I had to go to Bowling Green and uh, fucking suck a schlong. It's not but, really a you know. story of you know written letter and the connection that it can bring to people. Yeah. To the to their yeah. government. To the really the, just... the one thing your government can actually do for you: coach. speed up your yeah. passport. Um, and then that's I also uh. Uh, he also made me beat up his neighbor for uh, Just, like, beat the mm. shit out of his neighbor. You guys know about that? How his, na- how his neighbor beat him up, like, a few years ago? No. His neighbor, like, no. fucking hated him in Bowling Green. Just fucking hated him. I forget what, like, if he did. I want to say it wasn't even, like, oh, I had him as a politician. I f- feel like that was probably related. But it was, some- it was something, like, with his, like, house and what he was doing to the neighborhood itself. Like, he, like, passed something in the neighborhood. I forget exactly what. But one day, like, well, I think Rand Paul is, like, mowing his lawn or something. Not, probably not mowing his lawn. He probably doesn't mow his own lawn. But uh, while he's, like, outside of in his lawn, dude just, like, came over and started beating the shit out of him. <laughs> it's like, damn. That's that's crazy. Like, uh, <laughs> like you obviously had the fucking closest. You lived next door, so. Uh, Literally near your neighbor. Do, they, do you think they, like, I mean, I'm sure they moved after that. After oh, that they there. they definitely moved. No, I think they moved that fucker. They were like, get that fucker out of the neighborhood, and they, like, probably made him leave. Um, They didn't arrest him? No, they re- no, they definitely arrested him and charged him, too. Like, it wasn't just Are, that, yet. Yeah. I but, mean, do you think he was just, like, it was actually just something like neighborhood, neighborhood shit? I think it was a mixture like, of probably... Was the home of- it like was the HOA. Prob- yeah, I think it was HOA shit and political shit, where he was, like, pissed off. Either he was on the side of the HOA, or, like, Rand Paul was the HOA, basically, and then he was like, fuck this guy. Uh, yeah, I feel like Rand Paul had to have been the HOA. Come oh, on. that would make the most sense, right? But you never know. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking... Um, He's like, I refuse to cut my grass to three inches. I won't do it. Yeah. I mean, legitimately, just- I do think there was something like that, that really, like spawned his action and it's like that's very funny it's not any of the fucked up rhetoric or policies it's literally just like ah, he's making me fucking cut my grass so much fuck this guy i'm gonna beat his ass uh which 
just mug them in the street. That makes me worried. I don't cut my grass at all. I need to. Well, I mean, not at all. I cut my grass, you know, one, like very not as much as I need to. It's kind of overgrown right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. our neighbor cuts the grass once a year, though. So. Okay. Well, you're good then. At that point, you know. Well, actually, no. Then it's like you get oh. snakes and shit. But yeah, I feel like you guys don't have enough yard for snakes. Oh no, we the we neighbor got... of Senator Rand Paul, who in 2017 attacked Kentucky Republican during a dispute about their yards, was sentenced Monday to additional eight months in prison for the assault. Wow, went to prison. Yeah. Just want to ask wow. Was it worth it? Literally, over the yards. Over it was that's over the what... yards. Okay, that's yeah. Rand that's... Paul testified that he suffered several bouts of pneumonia following the attack. And eventually had to have hernia surgery because of all this uh, chronic coughing. Oh, he beat the shit out of that Ooh. guy. Yeah, he, he beat the shit the out of that The attack stemmed from a dispute the two men had over yard waste. Voucher, who according to court documents, had enough of Paul's yard maintenance habits after he saw him stacking brush into a pile on his own lawn <laughs> that was near Voucher's property. Voucher property. then ran onto Paul's property and tackled him. So he just—he wasn't vibing with how he was taking care of his own. You know, um, I, oh look, an Andrew Tate ad. I'm—I'm I'm um, not—I'm not a fan of Rand Paul, by any means. But at the same time, that is fucking ridiculous. Over yard waste. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Like that's that, so dumb. It's like <laughs> that's Rand Paul. Like that. Yeah. Like it's not <laughs> even. Yeah. Tackle? It's like, bro. Out of everyone, like. It, somebody else fights. won yeah pick your fights but also it's like there are so many other people who'd be like uh i would have at least had a better like moral like conundrum with it other than nah it's just fucking yard waste it's like dude come on but again it's like but it, it sounds like it wasn't even in the like the attacker's yard that he had the problem it was Rand paul wasn't taking care of his own yard well enough well mike then maybe you do have to <laughs> watch out bro it. maybe you do he have to watch out he had out. had it that's I've had it, bro. He had had enough. I've, I've, I've after, had enough. After seeing what? After, what did he do? That it, it's he said Literally. that he stacked brush, like like just dried twigs and shit, into a pile in his own yard. <laughs> a step too far. <laughs> that is. What's that? Uh, Michael, you better watch out, man. You better watch out. I mean, really? legitimately, fucking. Grass is overgrown, so I might beat your ass, bitch. Yeah, you. Oh, that, my dad's neighborhood did that all the time. Beat, beat, beat each, each other. Beat the neighbors. No, and I guess in Tommy's <laughs> old neighborhood, mine and Tommy's old neighborhood, they did that all the time. They'd stack up their. Uh, yeah, grass. Sorry. It, it's, I was letting Sock out. I didn't hear you guys. Fucking, it, it's that's normal. That's normal. Rand Paul was not yeah. doing anything out of the ordinary, <laughs> and even if it was, you know what you do? You file a complaint with the HOA. Like that is that is what you do. Also. Or talk to yeah, the dude. Yeah. Or talk to the fucking dude and be like, hey, dude, can you move that? I've had enough! <laughs> that guy had better have had an immaculate lawn if he was, like, going to beat the shit out of somebody for that. Bet he didn't. You know, like, I his lawn had not. better have been, had to. like, looking yeah. like a fucking baseball green or a baseball outfield. Either, like, checkered patterned or, like, diagonals. Right. You know, something crazy. Actually, better have a green. Like, there should be cutting <laughs> green. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a, a par three in his backyard. I yeah. mean, because they probably in a huge water. Like, they probably got a lot of land, knowing it's a random oh, neighbor. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and it's in Bowling Green too, so you got some nice ass like grass and shit. It's cheap there. out like, there. It's it's real nice. Yeah, you got you got. Um, I, I did, did not know that. I, that's such a. Like, I'm surprised I did not know about. Oh yeah, that was a few years ago too. That was like uh, probably like 2015 or something like that. That's been a while. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I owe that dude a favor. So if, if Rand Paul ever, not the guy who beat him up, but Rand Paul, uh, so if Rand Paul ever is, needs me to pull like a Jeffrey Epstein and take care of that guy, I got you, bro. Um, yeah, that's the trade. You get my passport to me like a few weeks quicker. I pull, I, I so my, so my commits suicide, um, uh, <laughs> Hillary wow. Clinton sending that guy a suicide request. In right Chinatown. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, speaking of that, me and Mike going to Mexico. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I heard about that. I used to be a... Did you get your 
passport? So it's it's on its way. They Rand sent Paul? they they sent me the U, UPS link. They that was the thing too. They sent me a fucking tracking number and everything. I was like, bro, they hooked me up. So it is, it was on its way. Um, nice. So I'm I'm pretty fucking hyped now because that was my biggest worry, uh, <laughs> and still I was gonna be able to get it. Because uh, I could, the the plan B was I was going to have to drive to Chicago in probably a week or two. Uh, have to make an appointment, drive to Chicago, and then get it that same day. But again, I would have to drive to Chicago, probably wait in line at whatever the fuck it is. Um, and yeah, it was like, I'm not looking forward to that. But now, I don't have to do shit. Now it's coming to me, all thanks to Rand Paul's office. So, um, and talk to me, Luca. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like how we just cut Michael you off. You can do this. Talk to me. You can do this, Jake. Once you got it in your hands, then we go to Mexico. Yeah, uh, no, legitimately, and I'm, I'm. I don't know. That's I don't. Rand Paul. I don't have to fucking be. renew it for another ten goddamn years. That's a nice thing. You don't have to renew it for ten years, which is insane, but also makes sense. Um, the, wait, a USPS tracking number or a UPS? No, it tracking? is UPS tracking number, and I went. Oh, oh you never. Uh, it's gone. What are you saying? I'm never. UPS is reliable, bro. We're... UP, UPS would be losing packages all the time. Dro, like, I'm at should... the. We're two minutes away from the world port, bro. So I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You can get out of here. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. UPS pretty reliable around here. Yeah, right? literally, I could. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, we lost it. Yeah, I'd be like, saying... on their own. I'll fucking find it. I'll go in there, look around myself, find it. Uh... If yeah, if you were making that those claims about USPS, I'd be like, okay, like I can kind of see that, but UPS. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Michael is acting like USPS is better. Bro, I've dealt with USPS recently. They are not fucking better. I dealt with the most suicidal man in the world at USPS the other day. Yeah. He, he, UPS is I could see the invisible gun in his mouth. Like, it was pretty fucking bad. It was pretty fucking bad. I felt – I go – I think I told you about this, Ben, but I go to sh- – the US, yeah. USPS office to go get what I think is my birth certificate certificate from, you know, from the passport shit, because I had to send in my birth certificate. So, I think that's coming back to me. They fucking missed me, so I was like, I'll pick it up. I go there. It's like 2.30. Uh, I'm like, they're definitely done with lunch and everything. I go to open the door. It is locked. There's no one in there. I'm like, okay. So then I run to another one, and I'm like, hey, I just want to make sure this is here. And they were like, yeah, it's here, but like, this isn't your post office. And I was like, I know I went to that one. It was fucking close. And they were like, well, it shouldn't be. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, that's what I thought, but I don't know. I was just making sure. And they were like, yeah, it's definitely there. So I'll just go check again. Maybe. And you have to t- keep in mind, the one near me is the most run fucking down looking post office I've ever seen. Jake, it, where is it? It is. Uh, I mean, it's right by my house. Doctor if, you, if you go, if you go down the street, uh, like, from, you know, where my house is, if you're going away from the highway, if you go down that street yeah. by, like, the fucking Dollar dollar Tree or whatever the fuck it is, a family oh. dollar, it is right... Oh, I know where that place is. Yeah. That place is scary. It is. And it looks I like... A, it looks like a... somebody there before, and it's spooky. It looks like an abandoned motel that they put a USPS yeah. in. And it's like, what yeah. the fuck? Um, in the back of the family dollar. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I attached to the family dollar. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, um, I get the fear now. Yeah, exactly. So I walk in there, and I'm like, okay... Uh, walk back in after I went to the other USPS. Um, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, it's like an hour later and it's open now. I'm like, okay, so there's a line of people. I'm just, you know, everyone there seems fine, but I'm just looking at this dude and he is looking at me too. He keeps making eye contact with me. I'm like, I don't want that dude. But he looks dead inside, like so fucking dead inside. Like, I, I mean, and he's like probably like a 50 year old dude. And I'm just like, bro, I feel bad just looking at you. Like, I feel like, you are sucking my like, life force from me. Uh, he's a dementor. I uh, yeah yeah USPS dementor yeah I mean le- legitimately. Uh, and so he's he's given everyone attitude. And I'm like fuck. I don't even want to be here right now. Like I just want to get my fucking package and go. So I go up to him. I'm like hey, I have a package. And he's like, what's the name? He goes back, looks for it, uh, can't find it. So like yeah, it's not here. I'm like okay, well I have a number so. I read off the first two numbers. He goes, that's not a package. That's a letter. I don't fucking know, bro. I I missed it. I don't know what it is. I thought it was my birth certificate. I don't know. I guess that would be a letter. I don't know what that qualifies as. So I'm like, 
Uh, yeah, I don't, exactly. I don't fucking know. So I'm like, oh, sorry. He's like, okay. Goes back. I hear him like fucking ruffling in the back, and I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. And he comes out and he fucking hands it to me. I'm like, okay. Thank you. He goes, that's an old shirt. <laughs> and I was wearing a fucking Smashing Pumpkins shirt. <laughs> I don't even like the Smashing <laughs> Pumpkins, really. I just like the shirt. Uh, and I was like, yeah, it is. And then I, there was a weird two second silence and probably I not walked as away. old as you old man yeah i mean the, yeah i was just, yeah i know that's why i was like i felt bad kind of saying that it is because i'm like i felt that felt like that made him feel more old but i'm like he was the one who said it so whatever uh then i walk away i then look at the letter and it's fucking just a copy of my lease that i already got sent to me like i already had this fucking document and i was like all right that was an hour and 30 minutes of my time just fucking wasted for nothing i go in this yeah so yeah so all this to say, USPS, okay. I do not, I do not depend on them at all. U UPS, I would much rather depend. On, I mean, UPS is literally JCPS. Our school system here has had to shut down for a week and a half because they were supposed to start last week, and they did, but then kids didn't get home till 10 p.m. and p kids were like having accidents on the, on the bus, and like it was bad. What? Yes, it was bad. Uh, and I'm honestly surprised it's not like – I don't know if it's like national news worthy, but just like I, it is kind of crazy how bad they – like I've never heard of a school year starting with, what is it, four days in a row of cancellation? Yes, yes. For, I mean literally is, somebody in my work had their kid with them, <laughs> and it, I didn't add it up <laughs> until I heard a little girl's voice, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, JCPS. Yeah, it's there's no school today. Um, yeah, I mean it's so bad that like their <laughs> local businesses, Michael, are like, ad, like giving discounts and incentives yeah, for it. like thing like the zoo is discount. is offering three dollars like, off. Rates. Three dollars off. Fuck off the zoo. Might as well fucking give That's me a penny funny. off. Okay, eat my yeah, ass. Sir. Yeah. Uh, that, it's like, but is like the busing like they just don't have the infrastructure to do it? No. Like, what, so they gave the. They lose the capability to like transport kids home so after school there's a few things that happen one is they change the times so they now instead of so, so all the schools used to start at just one of two times right and end at one of two times now they went okay we're going to pace it out right um to help with the bus drivers to help with dropping kids off and getting them there on time um problem is these new routes completely new routes with 700 over 700 bus drivers and bus routes they gave them the routes, the bus drivers' routes, two weeks before um, they're supposed to go. Which you might go, I don't. Is that enough time? Is that that is not enough time to to for people to figure out the fucking route for all these kids, especially when it's like some people are fucking driving from east side of Louisville to west side of Louisville back to east side. Like it, it, it it's not yeah. whatever. And they had hired JCBS hired this like Boston firm to use like an algorithm to fucking like fix the bus routes and ai baby uh fucking yeah ai doing its job of just getting kids sh shit like shit stained kids home at 10 p.m and it's like nice <laughs> good job fucking <laughs> awesome dude uh so yeah so that's going on um and ups and so, was like we're we'll help I'm, out with that ups offered to help and they went nah that's <laughs> nah and it's like yeah i would much rather have ups delivering my children than fucking the <laughs> on the I, jefferson county it, school system right now i had bad luck with ups like as at the companies that i work at like losing important packages like thousands of dollars worth of, equi of equipment oh like, my god lost. it's like oh okay but i mean not like if when compared to usps definitely um UPS is. Oh no, that sounds like a skill issue, Mike. Your companies just sound sound bad. You know, maybe they need to get better tracking numbers or something. I don't know. <laughs> your tracking numbers. You're right. Get longer tracking no, I, numbers. I mean, and you all are close to like a huge UPS. Yeah, we. Stuff. I don't think we have to worry about that near as much. We like, literally had our fucking time zone changed for, for UPS here. Yeah. Did we? Is that yeah. actually what happened? Uh, yes. That was, that, it was, that was LG and E. I thought. No, it was UPS. Uh, what would it, LG? It, wait, why would LG and E though? Or uh, no, sorry, GE. I think I it's it was for GE. Here, let's look why up. would GE need that? Because mm -hmm. GE's headquarters are here. Yeah, right. but but what, what would, uh, because GE's pretty big company. 
I can't remember exactly. I, th I, I mean, Will's the one that told me that. I don't know what it was. Will, oh, told shit, me, Will said something about I'm it. Almost... I'm not so certain. Now. Wait, what, what are we yeah. talking about? It's time, like, we changed from, like, fucking mountain time? Like, what? Or is it? No, like, no, the we reason changed... why we're Eastern oh. instead of Central. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. When did that happen? I never knew that. That's always been the case. Because, as far as I understood it, because of UPS. Wait, that's always... Wait, so we... Ne yeah, I'm yeah. on Central. You guys are on Eastern. Yeah, but... That's why, like... If it's if, always if been the goes... case, then it didn't have to change. When did it change? That's my question. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, we should be... Like, the time zone moves out of the way for us. Oh, like it goes, like... T -t 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 -t. Yeah, oh, it like does it encapsulates it first us. around us. And, okay, that makes... Um... But that would also mean originally we had to be at some point. Not necessarily. Well, but probably. I mean, you oh, yeah. this is so fucking old. Here it is. Here it is. Louisville, Kentucky actually did switch from Central to Eastern in 1961. Yeah. Yeah. Why four? Wow. I'm yeah. trying to find out why. I thought it was for GE. Are you looking at Christian? Maybe we're just going to find John? out it's for some Let's look at totally federal different. Register.gov. General Electric convinced lawmakers to put Louisville in the what? Eastern time zone because of Appliance Park. This is Reddit Louisville two years ago. I'll uh, be goddamn. Archive from Trib Live. And it goes to a dead page. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. nice. Um, oh, what purpose is like packages? I get because it's like you have to ship those across state yeah. lines, yada yada. But Appliance you know? Park what is it? also has to ship stuff. Appliance Park is I don't know what the fuck Appliance stuff. Park is. It, 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 huge in, uh, industrial manufacturing. I'm fairly certain. Um, so I, I've seen bigger. <laughs> anyways uh <laughs> yeah so 1961 that's very interesting though okay well dope um that is pretty interesting uh yeah we we you know what we didn't have ge was... we would have been on your time mike so yep i'm pissed uh i can't believe we have all these jobs that have been created here yeah, yeah. but that means that when we drive to uh, Memphis Stupid. that we get an hour back. So that, that is true. Nice. But that means when we drive back, we lose an hour. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It does <laughs> literally nothing. It's so negligible. I was like, okay. You drive to Western John, Kentucky, I'm, I'm you lose sorry. an hour. The night that you're driving there, though, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm getting an hour back. And then when you're on your way home, you're, you're like, oh, man. So late. Yeah. Like when we, uh, when we were driving there last time, John, we went to Mike's and it was like, Fuck, well, we're going to get there at 11 instead of 12, you know, because we're fucking yeah. get an hour. Yeah. And then on the way back, it's like, ah, oh, shit. Well, okay. It, I yeah, mean, that I might come back um, or I come there because I leave from work to go to Louisville. And, like, I mean, losing that hour on the way to Louisville is rough. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That is rough. Mike. Yeah. That's Damn. why you get here at like 11 or 12. Damn. Honestly, like later. Like, I feel like the last, like, or at least uh, this last time I got there pretty early. For the last few times, fight like one or two. Damn. I'm hoping to come down uh, sometime in October or something. And come down where? I want to watch. Uh, well, or come up. I get up to mm. Louisville. Mm. One of the, the brothers' cross country races. Oh. And so, are your brothers fast? Uh, I don't know. As fast that, as you? Not I, well. Like no, not as fast as me. But I. <laughs> No, <laughs> they could never. They don't put like Davin puts some good effort in, and I, Davin honestly this year could be good, really good for him. I think he's gonna do. I think he's gonna do pretty well. Cause dude, the man ran an hour, or a mile every hour for twenty four hours straight, just like a couple weeks ago. Why? Like, Six a.m. ran a mile, and then like did that same thing. Like before each hour, he would run a mile, and so he ran his first mile at 6 a.m. and then his next mile for seven a.m. You know. And did All the that. way until the next 6 a.m.? Hey, yes, literally did not sleep. That's insane. Right? Why? He didn't sleep? Because there's like, no way he had a nap, like, bro. There's, no, there's a nap. no way that does anything good for you. Yeah, he had to have been sleeping in between. Like a challenge. I don't know. I, he, uh, our his, our cousin's him feet, on the podcast. like, dared him to do it. And he was like, you know what, Michael, I kind of want to do it. And I get a call from my mom one night, and she's like, <laughs> 
Michael, tell Devin this is a dumb idea. And then <laughs> he says that I know, like, I'm like, what, like, why would you announce it like that? Because now whatever Devin says, it doesn't matter what Devin's going to say. I'm probably going to encourage him to do it. Yeah, like, absolutely, yeah. yes. But uh, he, he tells me that. I'm like, that's actually real. like, that, that, that is pretty, pretty cool, Devin. Like, because... I mean, I, your mom was, instantly I would just like threw the phone across the room yeah, she was so mad she was so upset Damn uh, it, but, <laughs> and like I mean I mean it sounds like he was pretty tired the next day but I mean yeah. I, 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 yeah. I hope he the slept next day 24 after hours he woke up from sleeping or the next day just like when he was done running like when he was done running Bro. like at 6am morning like yeah poor kid i think just like went i mean straight to bed but i mean i would like he was supposed to uh take like update videos like after each mile especially late at night mm -hmm. but I, I i have i don't know if he took them or not but i have yet to get any update videos like i never got like like he never sent me any i hope he did but i feel like he probably ran out of energy after the second one he was like i'm not fucking doing that i have to run yeah. every hour i don't want to fucking hold the too. phone yeah <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta get a GoPro. Set up going in the garage. <laughs> That's they, insane. Was he? Yeah. What, how, what yeah. route did he take? So we have two treadmills in the basement. So him oh, and so he his just did bro. Oh, oh okay. This changes yeah. everything. And yeah. they, at night he was running on the treadmill, but during the day they ran all around like Golden County. You know. Oh, okay. So he did. He did run around, but that night he was just like, "I'll stick to the." stick to the yeah they both treadmill. they they both were on the treadmill until 6 a.m i can't believe my parents slept that night like imagine and like like i would be so frustrated to hear someone like <laughs> run downstairs on the treadmill at like four yeah. yeah for like eight minutes ten minutes i don't know how fast is his mile probably uh, I, I mean know. i i think he went like seven like some of his fastest miles there that day were like seven seven minutes seven twenty jesus man probably around eight like uh eight thirty you know nine. yeah do you just hear but that I think his hear... was doing 20 seven thirty. i have to look at it actually i'm gonna check hear that for like 10 <laughs> minutes then it stops and you're like okay go back to sleep for like another 50 minutes then back to it again you're like motherfucker <laughs> jesus that's awesome though i love that actually that's like it's really impressive. That is very yeah, it impressive. Is, it is that, impressive. That sounds like um something a fucking uh, LA Beast would do, legitimately. That that mm -hmm. sounds like an LA Beast challenge where he's like, I'm going to run a mile every hour. And it's like, okay, bro. Uh, <laughs> yep. All right. But he would know. fail. He would fail. That's the thing. That is yeah. the thing. He would yeah. fail. He is not athletic enough. Davin, though, absolutely is. And so that is, I hope he did take some videos because we just overlay some like Mr. Beast, or Mr. Beast, uh, L.A. Beast royalty-free music over that. Um, yeah, and then we make it a Mr. Beast uh, fucking, oh, dude, no, that would do numbers, though. I ran, a, I ran a mile every hour for 24 hours, and it's Davin going at his legs just no. running. Yeah. It would be like, he, Mr. Beast would do, like, who can run a mile every hour for the most hours? So as fast and as there's two of them, too, so it would be perfect. True. Perfect. Or he went, yeah, six forty two was his fastest mile during what the, the mile. Yeah, he was cruising. So what yeah, was that guess, like his third or fourth? Yeah, uh, I think that was. I think I like from what I got the the snap before. I think that was mile fifteen. Christ, or fifteen or sixteen. Jeez, that is insane. Yeah. Wow. Dude's a dude's a machine. I mean, uh... dude, what? from Davin, you know, he was he he was always the toughest brother. But, yeah, because you guys abused him. Yeah, what you mean? Yeah, well, you fucking yeah, he was the toughest toughest brother after he beat the shit out of him every day. Okay, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he really was. got used to me hitting him. <laughs> yeah, I, I well, I can't say I never hit Davin, but he hit me a lot harder. <laughs> Like Davin was honestly, he he was a, he was a nut man. Like he gave me bloody noses multiple times. I never <laughs> gave. Huh. Yeah, and at least with but, Conlon, you had like a punch you in the face. I mean, Davin would punch me. I would just like I would tickle him, bro. He just hated being tickled, so I would tickle <laughs> him. Oh, that I. No, I'm saying he'd punch you in the face. Oh, yeah, dude. like like, yeah, absolutely. So like Will and I yeah. never hit each other in the face. 
That was just one yeah. thing we were like, yeah, we, we better just not that. hit each other in the face. Yeah. Gentlemen's <laughs> agreement. What the fuck is going on? Just watch him. But what, actually, one time Will uh, accidentally... I think he... I don't know what he was going for, but he accidentally hit me in the face and he actually knocked a tooth out. <laughs> well, I was a baby was loose. It was baby. Yeah, the tooth, okay. yeah, it was a baby tooth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah it was a kid. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I just, I, like, when you say that, when you say not to do that, I'm like, oh my... God. Oh, wait, you were a kid. You were a kid. It's yeah, fun. by the time I was... In, yeah, I mean, yeah, Will was in college by the time I was in middle school. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the most interesting way you guys lost a tooth? Like, your baby teeth, obviously. Uh, I lost two teeth... Two of my front teeth eating a soft taco. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had school pictures. <laughs> it was one of the only years when I was a kid that I didn't smile with my mouth open. Fuck. That is so rough right before fucking picture That's day. True. Actually, I think I might have. There are some pictures of me with my mouth open doing it, but. Uh, That's so awesome. funny. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. And then. I lost That's a molar what... eating a starburst. I think that might have actually happened twice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> because one time I was like, because it was really bothering me, and, and I never really wanted to pull out my tooth. So I was like, you know, it came out with a starburst one time, so it might happen this time too. So I just kinda, <laughs> yeah, That's pretty good. That is, <laughs> the, you, you've determined a way that it worked, and you were like, all right, take two. And then, yeah. Yeah. wow. One of the first times my dad did the old uh, floss technique. Yeah, with the door. Floss on the doorknob, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's so wild. Man. I, I've done that. That was that was mine. It was either that or like in an app. I remember... Dude, I think I've actually seen you do it. Uh, Me? Yeah. Yeah, I we might know. have video of that somewhere, legitimately. Um, by <laughs> using, I think Marky did it. Flip camera or something like that. Um, no, uh, that... It was one time I remember biting into an apple. I just have a vivid memory of biting into a green mm -hmm. apple. And then just fucking going up and then coming out and then just a tooth being stuck in it <laughs> i was like oh shit okay i guess i lost my tooth uh and then that one was one that was bugging me it was like one of those where i can still like feel it almost where it's just like the gum was still stuck to it and you could like twist it almost fully um but yep. it was like just not coming out i was like dude i just need this i can't rip it i just need it out so tied it uh with the floss and everything and then shut it and yeah it, it fucking worked yanked it out but then we did not think of we're on fucking white carpet and <laughs> blood just just trails from where oh. i am to the door i just <laughs> on this white carpet and i'm like oh oh well we'll just get some like white wine or bleach or something um but uh but yeah no that uh white wine yeah i don't know i was thinking of getting that red wine you use white wine and i'm like that's not blood uh, is not the same uh you get out red wine wait wait, wait. yeah did you not know that and if you have a stain of I've red wine you use that. white wine to get it out yeah that's crazy yeah, yeah. what little tip yeah you guys don't know that? Huh. no Oh yeah, I've I've never done it before, but I know, I know that's how. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can look it up. It's it's the truth. Uh, I believe you sound very confident. So. Yeah, I believe you. Uh, I'll try it next. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm about to go grab buy some red wine and spill it on my carpet just to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I'll, I'll be wrong and I'll be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> It'll be like just just like the big red, right, Ben? Um, Pop like beet red. <laughs> uh yeah but i don't know the, what about you Mike? like I don't, I don't know i don't i don't like remember like losing many teeth i remember like losing teeth but i don't remember like like really like creative ways of me losing teeth now i do remember getting in trouble at school for pulling someone else's teeth like tooth out <laughs> okay michael that's so bad hey it was mm. Because it could have been a teacher, but it was, I mean, this kid that like, he had a loose tooth. He's like, dude, I, I just want to get it out. I can't pull it out. I was like, well, do you want me to pull it out? He's like, yes. Will you like, will you please pull it out? So I, you know, oh I, my I, God. Pulled his tooth out and the kids started crying and freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I told him I could. He asked, he literally asked for it. <laughs> He's like begging me. Anyone me else? So fast. Is anyone else getting vibes of the Phil jumping off the? 
said. I forgot about that. <laughs> Impaling a small girl with fucking his teeth. <laughs> and they're having to get fucking stitches. Damn. That is, at least we've never tasted blood with our teeth. Like human human blood. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I guess, does somebody want to tell that? Because we didn't really explain. Somebody tell that story, please. I mean. Okay, Michael leaves the fucking frame. Uh, John, it's you. I'm choosing you. You have to tell that story now. There was this uh, kind of like octagon-shaped monkey bar thing, and Tyler climbed on top of it and jumped off and uh, hit this girl... Landed on this girl with his mouth open. Apparently, his like tooth went in her, and uh, his tooth was completely fine. <laughs> and she, I think, needed. Uh, I, I know she immediately went to the nurse, but I don't know exactly what happened. After oh, that, I think but... she went to the hospital. She definitely yeah, had to get like might've... fucking stitches. If you got a tooth in your head, you should... yeah, she probably <laughs> did. She probably did. How do you jump off of like? I know the I know the octagon thing you're talking about too. Like. It's not... Oh, like like for a little kid, it's kind of tall. And I'm yeah. just imagining Tyler, because Tyler will do the thing where he kind of have his has his mouth open, right? Where he's like kind of thinking, he's like, it's like that, where he's doing that, and he just lets go, and then just. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god! Wait, so did and, he? And then they had to close that, that thing down. There was caution tape around it, and I I actually remember oh. seeing that caution tape around it. And then when Tyler told that story, I was like, so that's why they closed that thing. <laughs> I also remember the caution tape. That <laughs> so shoot, that's why they closed it. <laughs> which is so funny. It's like that. Okay, I don't know if that would happen again. Let's be honest. Like that was, I feel like a freak. You know, roll of the dice. Like I get kids. You know, it's like we gotta be careful. But I'm like. I wouldn't ex if that happened again. Maybe close it down, but you didn't need. Uh, maybe it, maybe that was the second time it happened. <laughs> oh, so bad. Like, I mean, at Locust Grove, we had that umbrella thing. You know what I'm talking about? That you like can hold on to the edge, and then you can spin kids oh, yeah. like around. Like that thing. I mean, we would get like you know, we would have people all around the circumference of the circle. So like, I mean, it was probably like four kids like in each quadrant. And so, and then someone would be in the middle, and they would just run around in a circle, yeah. and push. I was a pusher, You're and so pusher. the problem is you get them like going fast enough. You like either run out of the cir the circle, which is like the wise thing to do, you know, like just keep going on the tangent and then get out, mm -hmm. or you bank in to like the center, but then you're stuck, and you have to wait, like for either them to slow down enough for you to just kind of like walk through, or you just have to like try and time it right. And so one day we like I was trying to time it. I don't think I mean I know I I got hit at least once, but other people also got like <laughs> yeah that that run and then like, someone's body is flying. Like I mean I mean you like I was quick when I was little and like so I would get them going and then like they would just collide and send both of y'all flying. Well, and also bad. like their feet are like hanging out too, right? Like it's they're oh, they're they're probably <laughs> lifting up a little bit too. Yeah, and so you're even when you try to run out, you gotta like time it. Right, or else you're getting hit in the face, literally kicked in the face. But yeah. with, yeah. yeah, yeah, there there were some stuff, like, that sounds way more dangerous than the fucking, like, octagon-shaped thing. Like, that, that's like asking for trouble. Uh, yeah. But, you know. Oh, with hey, trouble. But it, it was fun. It was a great time. I'm glad, like, dude, I, yeah. that was the best thing in the playground. I, like, I mean, I wish yeah. I could go back. And... Kid, kids will find a way to hurt themselves, no matter what. That's just kind of, yeah. that's kind of the kid cool. thing. Um and, and, yeah, you know, that's some... why they didn't have a swing set at uh, Buckner. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. They... Yep. That's that's fucked up. I mean, I've never. Well, actually, no. I was about to say, I, like, I'd never known anyone who got fucked up on a swing. I absolutely do. Yeah, you just go too high <laughs> and you fucking break your ankles. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the I uh, I got a concussion on the the playground at Buckner because Logan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No way. Uh, let me timestamp yeah. that. I'll have to cut out the last name. Do you remember? Oh, <laughs> um, you you guys remember those like weird kind of monkey bars that like swung back and forth? Um, like they tilted yes. back and forth. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Um, I was like jumping up onto one from one side, and Logan grabbed the other side, 
and lift and like pulled down on it. So it lifted the other side out of my reach. And I just like, I was expecting to grab it, but it like, I just, my legs went out from underneath me cause I was so oh. committed to it. And I just fell back and hit my head so fucking hard. Mm. I was like seeing stars for a good, a good while. And then I like had to sit on the bench for a long time. And then I started to notice like I was having trouble seeing like in class and shit. And I went home and I was talking about it to my parents and they were like, we should go get you tested. Yeah. Like you actually have, did they concussion. not notify yeah. your parents that that happened? No, they did. They okay. did. They okay. did. But like I, that, I, when oh, I was okay. talking to them about it, they were like, we, yeah, you should go get tested. Yeah, definitely for... a fucking concussion. <laughs> but I always remember it as being Logan Kirby's fault. Yeah. Well, <laughs> damn it. You don't. You don't forget that. Shit. <laughs> you don't forget that shit. I remember fucking this one kid, uh, Aiden. I don't even remember his last name, but I remember. Uh, big head. Yes, big head. Uh, bull cut. Oh, that's so coconut mean. Head. Coconut head, yes. Uh, I didn't mean that. Yes, it was big. Head. He was actually incredibly good at the piano. Yeah, but he and had, the drums. He had the fucking was worst handwriting. I remember in fucking third grade, I was like, "Your handwriting sucks." Um, because well, sorry, it wasn't his handwriting that sucked. It's he never used spaces. He never used spaces in his writing. <laughs> On a key? Oh. No, no. Uh, it, I it, think it, I remember it, that. Yeah, and I was like, dude, how the fuck? Like, I don't have good handwriting, but how are you even supposed to read that? Uh, <laughs> but I remember one time I kept going, uh, my little pony, my little <laughs> pony, you'll always be in my fart. Dude, kept that's doing good. that over and over again. Thought it was the funniest thing. And then he told the fucking teacher on me because how many times I did it. And she was like, stop doing that. And I was like, fuck this kid. Fuck this kid. <laughs> fucking tell on me because of my funny joke. Okay. Okay. You just don't understand. Yeah, that sounds like... You're jealous. We were in um, the, like, health class and Tommy just keeps going like, slip, slide. <laughs> and I'm literally like, I'm like, Tommy, dude, like, you've said it so many times. Like, can you just stop? Like, I'm, I'm literally trying to pay attention because, you know, I was on, like, meth pretty much <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm trying to pay attention i, I said the same stuff adhd medication earlier. we should just clarify john was on adhd yeah. medication no john was literally <laughs> he was on meth, meth. uh prescribed yeah. meth i mean and uh i'm like tommy like come on man and literally she's like will go to aim and I, was like, <laughs> I was like oh will's going to aim i was like, I was like wait who's will though i was like, <laughs> no will in our class Yes. Will go to aim. <laughs> Wait, she said it multiple times. Will? She said it. Yeah, multiple she's times. looking right at me, and I was yeah. like, I'm like looking around. I'm like, and I was like, oh, I see, I see what's going on. Here. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, you talking to me? She's like, I'm sorry, John. And I, I see like, what. All right. I'm sorry, John. Fuck it. Yeah, you knew, you know, she had that. She like had said that she many times to will though <laughs> she had defaulted back. <laughs> will go to aim you ever Shit. think you were victim of a, a kind of a, a sins of the father kind of deal john oh yeah like just people hating yes. on you dude actually why did i ask that i know that john true. absolutely yeah. Yeah. in mr schultz class sixth grade ethan <laughs> would not stop talking yeah, to me and i was like dude down. i was like i'm like literally just like kind of talk to him he's like john sorry I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> like, you know, the teacher's like, John, go into a cave, which was like this bookshelf in a corner, puts me back Shut there. Up. The next day I go and sit down and uh, he's like, hey, uh, what are you doing? I was like, what? What? He's like, you're in the cave. I was like, are you serious? Dude, I, I was in there and we took a test. I bombed it. And he was like, what's going on? And I was like, dude, I I'm haven't been able to see the board. I was like, I can't see the board. He's like, oh yeah, I, my, <laughs> I forgot about that. Pulls me out to like where I'm still in the cave, yeah, but I can way. see the board. <laughs> oh yeah, the edge that was closer to his his desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, another teacher, the other math teacher that was like with uh, you know KYA, she's like, who's the one that Will stole calculators from? She's like, oh, I, you, she's like, uh, something about like just me being a Turner, and I was like, oh, 
<laughs> this is not gonna go well. <laughs> it's like, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. uh, nothing, like, John. Was... You did nothing. It was <laughs> your brother had just fucking. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Man. That's a, such a good guy now. Salted though. the earth for that. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, damn. but uh, I mean, I, there are a million fucking. Uh, he just had really bad influences. Well, yeah, and there are a million knuckleheads, especially that fucking generation at school. Also, I'm not gonna bleep out Mr. Schultz. I just wanted to say that. Fuck that guy. I, I hope people harass that man not really but like <laughs> fucking he deserves it that man sucked i also had mr schultz and i just remember, remember fucking f had him for fourth period went to sixth grade first day of sixth grade coming come to fourth period i'm like i know this guy sucks i really hope it's not that bad though and he goes yeah i'm sorry guys you guys are like one of my last classes so if any of the other three uh periods piss me off uh i'm, I'm gonna be pissed off at you guys and it was like i think he used pissed off and i was okay, like okay abusive dad yeah really and it was like dude this guy can eat my ass um and then he was he was so many different times he was fucking pissed off for no reason he'd be like sorry guys the other class was really bad but then would be fucking mad uh yeah it was it was had to have been the second period because my i mean the advanced classes normally weren't that bad. I, although I will say I know I had some people that I, I can't even remember who they were, but they, uh, yeah, menaces. <laughs> yeah, um, no, but I was I was gonna say sorry. Uh, our brothers' classes, because both my brother and John's brother were in the same class. That class had fucking hooligans, like actual goddamn hooligans who like ruined trips for the rest of every other generation coming through like uh i think it was like they used to take like a eighth grade everyone would go to king's island or something like that that stopped maybe it was seventh grade but like everyone would go to king's island at some point that stopped with our brother's class because there were multiple kids who just hid under the bus when they were trying to leave <laughs> and hit under the bus for like an hour mean? They hid under the bus being like, we're just going to hide under the bus just so they can't leave, I guess, or just to fuck around. Under the bus? Yes, oh, under the buses. Yeah. They're hiding under the buses um, or under cars. So they're hiding under, like, some vehicle in the parking lot. So close by, but not, you know, on the bus <laughs> themselves. So they're doing roll call, and they're like, okay, where the fuck are these kids? So I'm sure the teachers and everything are fucking like, oh, my God, like running around trying to find them. And then, yeah, I remember – I have a vivid memory of being with my mom and going to pick up my brother uh, from that. And they were, I don't even think my brother was one of them, but like, it was still like probably his friends and whatnot. And it was just like, yeah, um, I, they said that I, they're not going to do that anymore. Like they said, <laughs> that we, we ruined it. And I thought I was like, ah, they'll probably do it. No, they literally never did that shit again. And it's like, wow. Nice. I mean, our, the grade below us did the same thing with going to the the Cincinnati, like going to the Red game. Did they fucking ruin that? I didn't. Oh, yeah, because they that. like took their shirts off and stuff. What? <laughs> yeah. Took her shirts off at like the Cincinnati game. Yeah, at the Reds game because they were trying to get on the camera. Well, that's not that bad. Take off your shirt. That's really not that bad. I but I think I know they were doing other stuff. I think like I don't know exactly what it was, but I, I know some other. Yeah, they were they were fucking around generally and just made it unbearable. But I think they might have actually they might have they might have been asked to leave. No, actually, that sounds about right. Honestly, I could see some middle schoolers doing some. Shit Hard to show your face game. again if you've uh, been thrown out. Yeah, you know? if you're if the school like fucked around, yeah, um, or like the students of the school fucked around. It's like yeah, we're not coming back here, are we? Uh, damn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, our, our, the class below us was, like, the mirror image of, like, our brother's class, I think, where it's just like, yeah, they, they were just a bunch of fucking rascals, um, and our, hey, our I class, I feel like our class was not that bad, our class was good, our class was quality, and especially compared to Marky's class, too, it was two grades above us, they weren't, like, rascals, but, like, a bunch of them just, like, die. and that, to be fair, it's also because the time, they grew up in. They grew up during the Zandemic, is what it's called. Um, the the Zandemic. Oh, the Zandemic is a real thing, and it is not just like what a is... Oldham County thing. So it's during twenty from twenty, what was that like twenty fifteen, or it was like twenty probably like twenty thirteen to twenty seventeen or something like that. Uh, Xanax oh, yeah. was huge, like fucking huge, um, and so a bunch of like my sister's class fucking got hooked on Xanax. And that is why, like, I don't know a bunch of overdoses from our class. Marky's class has probably triple the amount of overdoses. Like, legitimately, like, so many people have died from ODing. 
in her class because yep. of this endemic. Um, yeah, not not great. But it's, I just think about that compared. I'm like, I don't fucking know anybody. Not saying that no one has, but I don't know anyone who's OD'd in our class. Like, I, I know other things that have happened to people, but not fucking overdosing. Um, so. Sure. But, um, that is pretty wild. Because, I mean, Xanax really did grab a lot of people. And it's just such like a introduce like it just, I don't know, it just brings you, it makes it so much easier to graduate to really dangerous stuff yeah or just have and shit in the xanax also, itself yeah 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 it's it was fuck. but uh but, but, but like why different classes or what like i it's just i mean think about it you're in classes especially like in like elementary school and middle school so like the main groups you form are within that same year it's it's very you know it's only high school once that kind of gets broken up and even then it's only like after like two you know it's really once you hit sophomore year like okay i'm kind of with like some juniors in some classes now um but like up until then still it's very just you know linear um and so i think it's like the people we all associated with and especially again i think it's the culture at the time like with the zandemic was over by the time we got to the point of you know doing drugs and shit so it was just kind of like you know, it was just like the huge, uh, or at least for yeah. us, I mean, you know, it was, it was just like fucking alcohol and wheat legitimately, like for, I think a lot of our class, whereas like Marky's class, it was like, no, that's, that was accounted for before. Now we're like upgrading. And then also on top of that, you got to think about the other shit, like fucking remember cloud nine, which kind oh, yeah, of like cloud? infected, but that was like freshman year of high school for us. Yeah, um, that's true. But still, nonetheless, it's like that was, I think, far more prevalent for those years because it's like they had like yeah. wide access to it, um, which, yeah, yeah. Cloud9, I which think fuck, about that. I did fuck insane. up people. It's scary. Like, that was scary. Absolutely. Like, at least as, as like, much of a concern I have with like Delta 8 shit now, nothing compared to like Cloud9. It's like, that's just spice. Literally just spice. Yeah. That's like in high school. That you might accidentally hit a vape, and then all of a sudden, like you've taken too much. <laughs> Clear yeah. the cloud nine, didn't fucking crazy, craziness. Yeah. And there's no, 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 like, like for a little while in high school, I mean, there was really like no one could do anything about vapes. Oh. Like, do you remember that? But like, yeah. I mean, it was it was maybe like six months, what, like a year, like a year of classes. Where like you could just basically have a vape in the call hallway, and they like they there was very little they could do about it. Maybe it was probably more like six months. There was a little bit of time before like they caught on. But even then, they still like couldn't do anything about it once people were a little bit more discreet with it. Cause it's just go in the bathroom, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah. is is our school going to invest in the fucking vape alarms? Not when we were there, at least later. Yeah, I bet they did no, they later. Just closed the bathrooms. They did just close yeah, the just... bathrooms. That's true. <laughs> um, which is no PP for you, but that was that was unrelated. That's because fucking people were stealing the fucking. I mean, yeah, dude, like that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. The devious licks. The yeah. teenagers these days, they're they're on a whole nother level. Like I that. and I also do wonder about that because who was I? I was talking to somebody who they said they were like, yeah, no, I have a friend who's a teacher, and they were saying the kids are dumb. Uh, and I was like, yeah, that doesn't COVID like really, yeah, fuck that. They didn't have two years of school or like very stunted school in our education system. We know isn't the most robust. America doesn't have the best education system public, uh, wise. So it's like, yeah, you fucking throw that shit online. Uh, people aren't learning shit. Uh, so I, I really do wonder about that. I'm like, how, what, what's the, there are many long-term effects of COVID and shit, but I'm like, that's, that is one of the ones where I'm like, yeah, no, that's. Those people are going to be politicians someday. No, bro. We're no, no, they're not going to be politicians. You no, know, Colin, Colin and Davin we... are doing all right. It, I mean, as long as, you know, if you had, if you actually stayed vigilant with the, you know, online schooling, you can I... learn some not as much though. Yeah, see that's but the thing. It's crazy stories from high school right now though. At least I haven't heard many from Colin. Wait, not many crazy stories or crazy stories? I mean, not many crazy okay. stories. Well, but I also feel like Conlon doesn't really hang around people who would have like the crazy, you know. The, that is true. Who, I mean, again, he wouldn't be <laughs> hanging around people who are doing devious licks. Um, yeah, that's uh, true. 
Or maybe he's, he's just not sharing with you his his devious alter ego. Mm-hmm. True. He like pulls up to Memphis one day in like a Kia. Check out this devious lick, Mike. <laughs> no. He's gonna message me on Discord. Be like, hey man, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> He's like, what? Driving down the highway at 140 miles per hour from the cops right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what would, you do? What would you, all, you do in this situation? The national. Oh my god. Pull over. <laughs> now nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not doing that. What else should I do? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the Declaration of Independence, Michael. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. I'm... Oh, man. But, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't uh... know if they're, like, crazy or anything. They're, like, that. they probably are crazy, you know, things. Just because it's, they're like... Trying... I, I think it's, like... I don't know. I feel like kids nowadays oh. are, like, especially after COVID, they're, like not only see the train coming they're like i see i see what's going on here i don't i don't need to give a fuck or just feel like they don't need to give a fuck but on top of that it's like i think there are just a lot of kids who already even if they tried like still stunted education it's gonna fuck you up in some way it'll be like yeah i didn't i didn't learn about i don't know fucking it'll be like my what somebody will joke mitochondria is powerhouse of cell and they'll be like what's mitochondria and i'll be like oh fuck we fucked them. What's a soul? I don't know how to factor. It's about a yeah. they're, uh, <laughs> they're doomed. They're absolutely. Yeah, they can't even get the fucking stim jokes. Devastating, you what? That I bet they they can spell devastated, though. They, they can spell devastated though. or gorgeous. I, Michael, I'm not even sure about that, bro. They might not. Maybe, Maybe I would. Um, well, anyways, I think that's a good good place to say to wrap it up. Uh, you know what? We're back. Um, when will we be back in next? a big way? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Uh, I feel like every time we've started off in the past like five, six episodes, we're like, we're back. Uh, and then it's just <laughs> yeah, like, it's well, like, yeah, no, you're, it's not, like you're always it. when you're always gone. Yeah, of course you're back. It's like dad coming home after when you're always years. gone. You're always back. I got the cigarettes. I got the cigarettes. It's like, I got the milk, honey. <laughs> All right. I oh, I forgot. I forgot the milk. Sorry. This is. Two percent. I meant to get whole. See ya, and then gone for another like, yeah. eighteen years. Um, but yeah, we'll yeah, you know we'll try to do it a little bit more often before the because we're, we're doing the Christmas yeah, we cast. We're doing the Christmas cast, and I got Ooh. I got some ideas for that. Um, at least what I'm doing. I don't know. We could do another group thing. We could do separate stuff again. I, I like the milk last year. That was fun. Um, it's a good time. I don't know. It, see, the I like problem the hot is chip, but just enough time to catch me. That. You forget how bad the last one was, you know. It is. See, that's why it's perfect. I heal and forget like how horrible it was to be vomiting milk or chocolate milk or apple juice in large quantities. And mm-hmm. the <laughs> that's in the how embarrassing it is. Like, I don't think it's embarrassing. No, I'm proud of it. I just, I will say though that Jake, I've, I definitely, I do think when I'm looking at you, sometimes I think about seeing you with your fingers Slime. down it, all the way down at your Adam's apple. And I, I just imagine me, you know, it's basically the equivalent of like, if I was like uh, holding somebody's guts in in war, you know, like in Saving Private Ryan, you know, that guy. Have you guys seen Saving Private Ryan? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, like on a D Day or Normandy. Uh, thing where the dude's like holding his guts out that would be me but i would be his friend pushing them back and i'd be like you're good bro you're good because i can handle that bro that's 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 what i think i go if i can handle the milk like that i can handle anything so um, i don't know if those are comparable absolutely guts <laughs> do we know any dj events we should ask uh i think uh we should show oh the, the last one just people. died the last one just died so uh, oh, yeah. So Would you be putting? Oh, actually, no. Here he is. Here's the last. Uh, ask him. What do you What do you want to ask him? <laughs> what do you want to ask him? Is Jake vomiting milk yes. the same as you invading a country yes. taken over by Nazis? Yes. Are you sure about that? Hey, fat. You what wanna, do you, you want to do? Push ups, fat. Let's do a push up contest, fat. 
He just fell over. Sorry, guys. He just fell over. I'm so sorry. Right Let me now? help him up. He just froze. He didn't have a fucking absent seizure. There you go. Let's yeah. let's get his his, his friend is about John to say something. His page. friend's about to say something. What do you got to say? Oh my gosh. Hey, he's saying, I'd like, uh, give me some. Do you want to leave? <laughs> is it time to leave? He just shit his pants. I'm so sorry. We'll be back in five minutes. Uh, Dude, anyways. what the f Anyways, well, that's been the Talking Heads Club podcast episode, whatever the fuck it is. Honestly, I don't even know what it is. Like, 15? 20? We're at least on 100. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>